Is that thing recording? Yeah. Mine is. Hello. Hey, Dare. Oh, hey, Dare. Oh, hey, Dare. How are you? Go talk to JB. What up? Hey, how's it going? Finally made it. Yeah, what you got? We got some unpacking to do, including a drinking fountain. We get that stuff all set up here at camp. Looks like JB's ready to go. Got his stuff all set up, somewhat. to figure out where I want to put my tent, somewhere in here maybe. We have a little hatch and throw up space in it. We can move that anywhere and have some stuff thrown that way. Fire pit. We yeah. got Andy and I. Andy's the property owner. He, he was here cutting up some wood earlier and we ended up getting some wood chuck for the fire. So maybe we'll split some of that and add some of the, add a couple trees fall. Um, I'm just getting it cut up and cleaned up for the Cool. Let's get after it. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to get the truck unloaded. One thing I'm going to do, I got this whole fire pit that I had in here, and uh, I actually got it stored down at the camp a little bit. I'm going to try and get a good section cut out so I've got a nice little front porch here for the back of the truck. put down, I've already got a rubber mat for the back of the truck, it came with it when I bought it, but now you can put it down directly on the middle. Um, the first thing I need to put down is this inflatable wood mat. It's only about an inch thick, but it makes a huge difference. chilly here at night and I've got two pretty cheap sleeping bags that's not very 
really meant to address wolves, but what am I? I'll put one down, then I'll show the other one in there just in case I forget. this is. Full size camper top tent by Dak Inc. D-A-C Inc. So basically what that's going to do is go over from the top of my cap to the tailgate. It's going to make a tent on the back of my truck. Now this is the first time I've taken this out this far.
All right, you guys ready? Here she is. Got all my junk underneath still, but just check that out. It's a Chevy 1500 2011 four door short bed, five and a half foot bed. And I'm about 6'3", so laying in the back of this thing wasn't very comfortable. But now, you got this bad boy. I can lay all the way straight and still got room for all my junk. It's got these little doors I've got tied up right now that make it kind of waterproof once you put them down. So basically, there's a bungee cord that goes across the top down to the tires. I've got them just kind of wherever I could get them. And then there's another one at the bottom that cinches underneath the tailgate. Same on both sides. And then I read in the instructions that it's meant to keep the cap at a horizontal so it doesn't pool water, which is smart. And it really doesn't bother me too much. It doesn't really change the, the opening of the back of the truck, so that's nice. Um, but no, this is going to be, this is a game changer. I'm glad I'm as excited about this as I thought I was going to be, if not more. Kind of gives you a little bit of privacy on the side as well. I can still open those windows. Got plenty of room for activities. All right, everyone. So as you can see, fishing was a bust. No fish. Uh, we got one that was a pretty good eater. Uh, the other two were, they just kept getting smaller from there. So we have three total bluegill. Had a couple good bass strikes. But that didn't really turn out the way we wanted it to. So I know we kind of said it was a catch and cook, um, but we did have a plan B. And luckily, Austin with Augie Outdoors, he kind of saved the day. So I'll let you talk about what you're going to do. If you want to show us what we're going to do now. Yeah, so basically I got, uh, like he said, backup plan. I brought pork tenderloin and some pita bread and some aioli, some chipotle aioli. So basically what we're gonna do is just kind of make gyros, gyros, however you guys say them, use guys. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna make some pita pockets with some pork tenderloin, just basically threw some stuff together that I had laying around um, just in case. And this is just in case we need them. So this is dinner. I got, I'm gonna get a fire going here. Uh, first, got to found a nice dry branch, dry sticks, dry leaves, basically just getting the, getting the leaves ready. I'll show you guys here in a second exactly what I'm doing in here. What we're going to be trying to use today is a magnesium block. So the idea is you scrape, you shave off some magnesium and then there's a flint side back here that you spark with and that, that creates a flame. Um, so it, we're basically setting up as if this was our only only hope of getting a fire started. So preparation is a big part of it. Having your tinder pile ready, getting uh, lots of little sticks, leaves to help build it. Um, I think we'll, uh, the only thing I'm missing is uh, wood shavings. Might try and make some of those quick. Oh, if we can get that to light, that should be the ticket. Sometimes you just got to go to plan B. It's starting to rain. If it wasn't starting to rain, we'd get her. 
we would get her. But, like I said in my uh, last video, and I have said this time, we're glamping. And you always carry a lighter, just in case. Oh yeah. Matches, lighter. Guess these aren't the driest of leaves, but... We got a fire going. No take a plank. Finally got her self-sustained. We will be waiting for the coils, coals, not coils, coals, waiting for the coals to burn down. We can steal some, and then we're going to use my grate, and I'm going to probably maybe start one in my twig stove. Not sure yet. Maybe if we get the twig stove burning, we can use the pot or the pan on top of the grate, try and get all the meat done around the same time. Um... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We got no plans. We're camping. Do what we want. Peace out. All right, guys. We got uh, got the fire going. Got some good coals rolling. Uh, we'll probably add on to it a little more. Get some more coals, and we'll be cooking onto that grate. Uh, we got JB over here cutting up some firewood, and I have got into my twig stove. Hopefully, you guys didn't forget about that. Got a little, uh, I had some old, some little chunks of pine laying around here. So I'm just getting some, getting a good bed of coals going in that. We got, Justin's got a pan over here we're going to be using and going to be getting some pork tenderloin. Love it here. Absolutely. All right, so here we have our pork tenderloin that Austin brought and the grate to our tripod. Um, we've been having a little trouble trying to keep the fire going, so we finally got the fire a little enough, hot enough to hopefully cook this. So what I've done was I, I cut each pork tenderloin in half just to try to speed the process up. We're gonna put them on and then get some seasoning on them. But it should work out pretty well. I think we're just gonna end up slicing them up like mini pork chops and then eat them that way inside of a pita bread or something. So we'll try to get some seasoning. Got those Clorox wipes. That I love so much. Try to disinfect my hands before I mess with anything, any of the spices that we brought. Here we have some McCormick Chipotle roasted garlic seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle that on. Nice coating of that. And we're cooking with, or we're heating, rather, with some maple and oak woods. So we'll get a little bit of flavor out of the wood as well. And for here we're using some ground white pepper, which actually will give it a little bit of a kick. So we're not going to go too heavy on that, because white pepper is a little hotter than black pepper. But it makes all the difference. Lay it on. We'll season it again once we once we turn them over. All right, so we're gonna let these cook for a little while. Uh, like I said, this will be a little bit longer since we're having a little trouble keeping the fire going. But we did just set this grate on top of um, a little chunk of wood on that side, and then balance it on the ring of the fire. So. Uh, tried to keep it going for that little grate that Austin brought, uh, but it didn't really work out, so we're improvising and doing what we can with what we have. We'll go from there, uh, let this cook for a little while, and then we'll flip it over, season it again, and keep going. This is one thing I wanted to let everyone know 
anybody who's ever thought about doing camping videos anybody who's ever ever tried and failed at something this this is part of it the fire's not going the way we wanted it to the fire didn't start the way we wanted it to um we didn't catch the fish we wanted to to do the catch and cook but that's part of it you know that's that's part of it learning here and there and little tips and tricks and so you can do it better next time so we're gonna let these to cook up and then we're going to show you guys once they're done what we're doing and uh that'll be it well we got an update more rain Justin's cutting up the tenderloin in smaller chunks. They're not too far from being done. I'm hiding under a uh, old rain fly from an old tent. Never threw the rain fly away because I figured I'd use it for something, and here we are. I actually use this for the top of my old Toyota when I when I camped in that. But where we're sitting right now, Shouldn't be too much longer. These bad boys will be done. We'll throw the peat on the grate, warm them up, smash some dinner, and hang out in the barn. All right, guys. Got the tenderloin done. Got the pita bread. Got the aioli. Making kind of a taco. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's raining. It's raining bad. It was not expected by any means, but we're going to make the best of it. Smash some pork tenderloin pita tacos. Probably going to put the cameras up for the night. And we will uh, see you guys in the morning unless something cool happens overnight. A little bit of update on this product review for the uh, truck tent. After all this pounding rain, it hasn't leaked one bit. I keep checking at it every once in a while just to see how it's doing and it hasn't leaked at all. Um, not to say it's not going to, but so far since I've had it on, it's been raining a few hours now. It's, as you can hear, not a light rain. So, it's doing pretty good. Augie Outdoors here. I just wanted to leave this video with a little bit of an outro seeing as the one that I had made got lost somehow uh, and that continues to be part of the message I'm trying to send out um, first of all just want to show everybody that you don't have to be a professional videographer in order to do this um, I've never had any sort of formal training as you can tell um, this is just something that I've been wanting to do for a long time so I'm doing it you know I'm learning it on my own trying to figure it out as I go um, so that's so what you can see that the quality is not the greatest, the audio is not the greatest, and um, everything might be jarbled around a little bit, but that's part of it. You know, as you can tell, things didn't go the way we planned it. You know, the fire, um, fishing, uh, there's just quite a few things that didn't. We didn't expect the rain, uh, but it, we made the best of it. That's all you can do. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's sticking around through all the rough times that we're going to have in the beginning where everything's not the greatest, but um, I do appreciate it. I really do. Um, so if you enjoy the content and want to see me grow the channel and get better at what I'm doing, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe and share the heck out of it. Thank you.